Hello. I'm just waiting a few minutes for everyone to jump on here. Welcome. Hello. Welcome to Candy Stampers 411, Stamping with Candy Michael. I'm glad you're here. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. I live in Powell, Ohio. I am a Stamping Up demonstrator and I just got my new catalog. Woohoo! I'm super excited. These will be going out mid-May as soon as I receive the case of catalogs that I've ordered. Well, several cases so I can mail them out. Let me know if you would like me to mail you one. Give me your address in the comments or private message me. Thanks for joining me today. I have a couple of cards I want to show you. But I want to tell you a little bit more about me. I have been a Stamping Up demonstrator for 23 years. And I live in Ohio in Powell. And I have been married to my wonderful husband, Joe, for 30, it'll be 31 years in June. He was laughing when I told him I was going to start doing Facebook Live because... Joe knows that I love to talk. And I'm sure that some of you also know, that know me, that I do like to talk. And so he thought this was gonna be right up my alley. And he's, I think, really hopeful that when I come home this evening, that I won't be as talkative as I normally am. <laughs> oh, if you only knew Joe, he's pretty funny. I have two boys. They are both living here in Ohio. My oldest one, Jonathan, is 29 and is a student at Ohio State, now on summer break. My youngest one, Anthony, just came home, well, actually came home last summer after serving five years in the Army, and we are very, very proud of him. So we're glad he's back home, back here in Ohio with us. So let me go ahead and get started. Um, I have this darling little card. This one is made from our Stamping Up Bonanza Buddies stamp set. And it has a um, tons of stamps, really cute little stamps that you can put together. And when I'm done, I'll show you some other samples from card swaps that I've been in. So these are our framelits. And these framelits are just they are so cute. They go really well with many other, um, any of the other stamps. We have a nice little tag and little banners. So they're very, very useful with many of your other stamp sets. This stamp set, it's actually a bundle, will be retiring. It's in our mini catalog on page 33, and it will be retiring at at the end of this catalog, which it will end June 2nd. And also the designer paper will also be retiring, which I'm very sad to see it go because this just makes me so happy. Anybody that gets one of these cards, I'm sure they just can't help but smile. So if you want to order any of these products, you'll want to do them soon because once they're sold out, they may not last till the end of, or till June 2nd, but, um, we're hopeful that they will for everybody that wants to get their hands on them. I do have a host code if you want to order. Um, you can go to candystampers.com 
to get to my website there. And it'll also link you to the Stamping Up website. So I have my host code here. So let me tell you a little bit about my, um, <laughs> my host code and how I put it here. I went over to my printer and went to print out this nice little document to have right here in front of me. And um, my computer would not link to my computer, I mean to my printer. So I had to think, and my handwriting is really, really messy. And so I had to think very quickly and I just decided why not cut out some dies and make up my own little template. So I'm sure you're all getting a chuckle because gee, that never happens to anybody, does it? Okay, enough talking. Let me show you my card. This is, again, with the Bonanza Buddy, the paper that we use with that, um, with this bundle here, it's called the Birthday Bonanza designer paper. But this fits one of our framelits, the little toucan, and so you can actually die cut out your little toucans or you can rubber stamp them and color them in yourself but I just thought this paper was great to be able to have the use of both ways of doing it and I thought it'd be easier for me than coloring today. So it this is a fun fold as I promised you and it will open this way. Kind of a kind of a gatefold I guess. I have I don't really know that there's a specific title. I'm sure there is. But it was just very simple and cute and so I want to show you how I made it. I use the Bermuda Bay base of a cardstock, and it's just the um, quarter sheet, five and a half by four and a quarter. And then what I want to do is I want to go ahead and lay down my next little piece here. So you can pull it up higher so some of the white shows, and I'll show you what I mean here. So I pulled it up, <clears throat> excuse me, a little bit higher so the white, um, can kind of cover over that. You can pull it down lower if you want and then your card would actually stand. It's a little off center for it to stand, but it works. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue that down first. I love this glue. It can be messy. So I like to come inside a little bit like this so that when I lay it down, it doesn't go all over the place so I don't go to the very, very edge. And you really don't need a lot of it. So you're gonna go ahead and put that down. I do want that in the middle. And it's nice because I can still slide it while it's ooey gooey. All right, now I have my handy dandy bone folder. Go ahead and use that as well. Next, I'm going to use my five and a quarter by four inch piece of Whisper White, and I will go ahead and glue that right on there. I was thinking it would be nice to have some music playing, but I'm actually using my phone and my Wi-Fi isn't connected right now. So I could sing for you, but I'm sure most of you would say no thank you. Anyway, all right, so here I have my white piece down and I have my little fun flap that's gonna go over the top. You can also make this card to go in this direction, but today I'm making it in this direction. So I use some of the designer paper, another one of the pieces, and this is the candles. These are the candles, so either that or you can use the little ice cream cones. But I'm gonna go ahead and use the candles to go on the front. And again, we're gonna just come inside here without getting too close to the edges. And pop that right on the front. Okay. Next, I went ahead and already die cut out the uh, little toucan. I'll be using him in just a minute. But I also already cut out the tag from our framelit here and it has this nice little stitched edge i love that gives it a little extra texture on there so this piece i'm going to just go ahead and glue it into the middle 
Now I want to make sure I don't put glue all over, obviously, or I would glue my card shut. Gee, I've never done that before. Ha ha ha. Okay, so let me go ahead and get that on there. Next, I want to go ahead and stamp my oval piece. So again, I'm gonna bring the card back in so you can see what it is I'm doing. I am going to stamp my oval piece and then that will also get popped up and then we'll add all of our little elements to it. So my happy birthday is stamped in the Memento Tuxedo Black ink. This has actually been one of my favorite inks that we've had for stamping and being able to use any of our blends when you're coloring in. It is a nice ink. So we'll go ahead and stamp that in there. I like to hold on to it and make sure I press hard in the center to get a nice even, a nice even stamp there. Next, I'm going to stamp the little pom-pom. I guess that's what it's called. I think it's supposed to be the top of the little hat, but I thought it was a cute little splat, cute little accent, I should say. We can call it splat, but accent would be probably a nicer term. And I'm just going to go ahead and, oops, I better move this because I know me, I'll get it all over. But I'm going to just go ahead and add a few little splats or texture, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Humor me. This is our Calypso Coral ink pad and I I love that color it's so pretty all right so now that I mastered that I am going to use some of our dimensionals and that will get popped up but I don't want to put them up too high because I still have to slide in that area there for my little bird but I'm going to go ahead and put that on there these dimensionals I go through tons of packages of these. And also, in case you don't know, these edges are all great to use. When I finish the inside parts, I just use my snips and go around and cut these, and I use these as well because they're hidden. You don't see them. So you get more out of just those ones that are in the middle. All right, pop this on here. Next, I cut a little scrap of the designer paper, and it actually was the back side of the same Tucon paper here. So I just cut a little scrap, and I learned a tip long ago that in order to get this little banner piece here, let me show you. In order to get that, most of the time when I cut them, they're, they come out crooked, and somebody showed me a tip that you just go up the center. Now watch it not come out straight. Go up the center. And then you're going to end up getting it pretty much in the center, which I'm thrilled it worked for me. Sometimes it does come out a little crooked, but it looks all right. So I'm just going to go ahead and put some glue on that. Pop that on there. And I came right to the edge there. Oops, I come down a little bit more. I just love those little banners with a little, kind of like a little flag on it. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and pop up our little toucan. I'm sorry, we're going to lay this one flat and then I'll pop up the hat. So I will glue this down. Like I said, I have been stamping for 23 years and the trends have changed so much. It's fun to go back through some of my pictures from different conventions and see the different trends that we've had with stamping. I really like the trends that are out now and some of these cute designs. Well, he's kind of tilting, but it's all right. He's rocking. I have a rocking and rolling little toucan. Okay, so I am going to stamp his little hat in the Bermuda Bay. This is the same as the cardstock on the back, the same ink and the cardstock to match, or to coordinate, I guess I should say. So let me go ahead and ink this up. I have my little hat. It's party time. Pretty soon we have to add the little pom-pom too. All right, so you can fussy cut this 
fussy cut meaning with our scissors, or of course Stampin' Up came out with a framelit that you can die cut the hat as well, which is what I did. And by the wonders of television or Facebook Live, ta-da, it's already done. I'm fast. All right, we also have these mini dimensionals. So we have the two sizes. We have the regular ones and the minis. Again, this, on the minis, you get a, a big thick area around the edge here, and I do like to cut those up and use them. So don't throw those out, they're usable. They're sticky on both sides. So I'm going to pop up my Toucan's hat, and now we'll let the party begin. <laughs> I have our little assorted pom-poms in the suite that's on page 33 in the suite, which is this entire page. You can actually get this suite for um, $70, but it includes every one of the items that are on here. So that is a great deal because it's great fun to play with. I love this one. Now, if I can just open this packaging, here we go. So these are our assorted pom-poms and I don't remember, let's see. You get a hundred of them. That's pretty awesome. So I'm going to just pick a color. And again, with this great glue that we have, I'm gonna just pop up a little dot. Should have done this last. You know why? Because I have to open the card and still stamp inside and put my ribbon on. But that's okay, we're gonna make this work. So here's my pom-pom on the first card on my original. So I can show you, and I glued that down, and I'm gonna just keep talking while the glue dries. <laughs> you guys okay with that? <laughs> Okay, just kidding. I will go ahead and keep stamping. So the next part of this stamping is going to be right behind this tag. So it's going to be a little tricky. You wanna make sure that you're going to hide your, um, your stamping underneath there so it doesn't show out around the sides. So I'm going to give it a try. We've got this. And I have my little words here. I do like to ink up my stamps and then stamp them off just to make sure and then ink them again to make sure that I can get my, um, my stamp nice and juicy. All right, guys, I'm gonna hold my breath here and cross my eyes and hope I can make this hidden. <gasps> I did it! Yes! Okay, that worked. Next, I'm going to use the little, I hope this is drying. We're gonna say it is. Next, I'm going to use the little, I called it a splat, my little pom-pom again, my little pom-pom stamp. And again, I'm gonna use that Calypso um, ink. So let's see where, I just wanna do a few, but I don't wanna come too close to the edge here because I don't want it showing. So I'll stay on the insides and kind of down there. Ta-da! Now you can't see it. It's a little hidden secret message. Okay, so last what I wanna do is tie on my ribbon. And of course, I really wanna hope that I don't knock that little pom-pom ball off, but I am gonna give it a try. I'm a professional stamper and a professional bow or not tire, so. <laughs> so I'm gonna give it a try. And if it comes off, guess what? I have more glue. I can just glue that right back on. All right, so simply, this is our um, polka dotted ribbon. What's it called? Our Whisper White polka dot tool ribbon. Love it. I have used this a lot. And I'm just simply going to tie it around one time without hitting that pom-pom. And then I am going to tie another piece around. And this is our ruched white ribbon, I believe. I'll go back and look. But this is just going to tie around the front. And I know it blends in quite a bit. If I put this behind here, you can see it better. 
you can see how cute. It just looks nice having the two of them together. I knew I had my ribbon out. Yeah, this one is called the crinkled seam binding ribbon. I said the wrong one, but it's, it's nice because it looks like it just came out and it's all crunched up and I don't have to iron it. Not that I do a whole lot of that anyway. Okay, so I don't mean just ribbons, but clothes, it's wash and dry now. So I'm just gonna cut my little pieces, give it a nice little angle. Pull that out of there. And I apologize because I cannot see the names going up and down. All right, so here's the one we just did, and it is complete. I could probably trim this down a little bit more, but I'm going to just leave it. Plenty of room to write your message, and now you have a darling little toucan card. Again, you can stamp it, color it in with markers, or just use the designer paper. It works great either way. All right, let me show you a couple more cards that I have with the um, with this Bonanza Buddies bundle. I was in a card swap and I have a few more cards that were, um, that I swapped with. So let me show you a couple of these just really quick. There's so many fun ideas out there. This one, I don't remember the names of who did it. I'm sorry. I can't give you credit, but, <laughs> but this one, I loved it because she, she used all of the, um, little scraps of paper and then, with the dies, you can actually build up the little lion and same with the koala bear. They're super cute. Well, the koala bear, I don't think actually can, but you can stamp in his face right here. But it looks like that, that's the designer paper. But on this little guy, you can actually stamp him and pop him up. And again, here's the tag, the banner, and just a great use of some scrap paper. This one, again, with the little toucan and he actually was stamped because I see there's it's white paper on the back and then she used the star die on the back there too I thought that was really cute and another little banner banner or flag whatever you want to call it but I just thought that was a nice little layout and then <clears throat> excuse me and then the last card that I was going to show you with this is a darling Z fold card that actually it would normally I the way I've seen them is this way but I love doing the fold in this direction also isn't that adorable I just think those are so cute that one was done by Kathy Miller thanks Kathy I really like this card I do have another one I want to show you Actually, it's sitting right here in front of me, a couple of them. So let me go ahead and do show and tell. <laughs> here was another one that was done. I think I did this one for a class, but I saw it on Pinterest and it was a nice, easy card to do. And here we just stamped him flat and then you stamp in his face and um, his other little images here and use the embossing folder and just nice, easy, simple card. And then another one using the little Bonanza Buddies. Again, is another embossing folder. And this paper is, it's just so adorable. And on here, we do have a die that will cut out the balloons. So you can stamp them or cut them out of the designer paper as well. And then here's the little, see, there's the splat for the hat. I was right. <laughs> Oh, I'm so excited. I love this bundle. I am really excited about jumping into Facebook. I have other cards that I want to show you, and I decided that I was going to kind of keep it to not demonstrating a lot of cards today, just so I can get my first um, Facebook Live into the record books. Excuse me as I take a sip. But I do have something else I want to show you. Stamping Up right now has the COVID-19 um, 
something sunshine. I know I have the name of it, sorry, but it's our PDF that we're selling and to go with the, um, it's called Share Sunshine PDF. I knew I had it on here. And what this is, is you will purchase the PDF. It's only $12. You can go to stampingup.com. These are non-commissionable if you purchase this PDF. 100% of the monies that are, for people that buy these, 100% of that money is being donated to two different, you have two options of where they will be donated to. So it's a great deal, but I wanna show you um, a couple of cards that we made. And there's a lot of words that are in here and they made them into different colors. And then there's also, there are a few images, but some really fun images that they made thinking of making cards or scrapbook pages, um, whatever you want. But it's all talking about as we are social distancing that getting back, of course, with the COVID-19 um, and getting that behind us. So this was one of the funniest ones. It says, I'd totally share my toilet paper with you. <laughs> And I will. You just come on over to the studio. There's plenty of it in there. Okay. Um, let me show you a couple cards we made with the um, Share Sunshine. So I have one for our heroes. It's a thank you to them for doing what they do. I know there's a lot, a lot of people out there on the on the front lines that are working very hard and they're in the public's eye and doing what they can to help us. And we really appreciate them. And I know my family wholeheartedly does. And so we want to say thank you and give a shout out to all of those nurses, which I know there's quite a few of them on here today. And I wanna personally say thank you. But this is a, um, a quick, just simple little thank you one for our heroes. And I did use the posy papers and those framelits are the new framelits. I apologize, I didn't write down the name of it. Sentimental, I'll find it for you in a second here and I'll tell you. So that's one of the cards. The next one is, though we are not together, we are close at heart. And I love this card. It's using the uh, Flirty Flamingo and it's using our Valentine paper that we had that came out earlier. It's still available. And our heart punches. Both of our heart punches worked perfectly with this set. So I thought that was really cute too. And then there's one more. And this one really made me laugh. I did not design these. Marcia did. But this one I just thought was adorable. It says, I changed out of my night pajamas into my day pajamas to send you this card. And she used the golfer die that we have and stamp set and cut him out and made it look like pajamas. So I thought that was pretty clever, that girl. So let me look up that one stamp set and um, framelit set that goes with that one with the thank you, my heroes. Actually, it's the same one with the pajamas too. And it is called Stitch So Sweetly Are the Dies. And it is called So Sentimental. That's the bundle. It's on page 20. So stamping up also in this PDF, they did tell us based on which page number you're looking at, they tell you what color inks are on here that they use so that you can match them up. And they also tell you the coordinating products that go with it. So it'll tell you if it's the rectangle die or the nested label die. So it's really nice because it correlates with the page um, that you're looking at in order to get those images off of. So they did a great job on this. I highly recommend it. I feel really good about being able to help anybody out there and I'm just thrilled that Stampin' Up! is so awesome and that they're giving 100% of their money back to help research on this COVID-19. So with that, I am going to say thank you for stopping by. I'm going to keep it short, which is amazing because most of you know I could talk forever. <laughs> but I just had to give this a try. It was so well worth it. Um, one thing I would like to tell you is that I do, I have been starting some uh, YouTube videos 
and I like to end my YouTube videos and I will also be doing that along with my um, Facebook lives with candy. So I am showcasing the candy today are sweet tarts. I actually love sweet tarts. They are, <laughs> they are one of my favorites. Probably because as a kid, I spent a lot of time in the candy store. My parents named me Candy. They knew what would be a perfect name for me. So I like to give a little history about these. And so the sweet tarts were made by a person named Sunline Jeff Souza in 1962. And they created them to go along. They actually are made with the same mixtures from the Pixie Sticks and the Lickamade, which are also my favorite. No wonder it's, it's the best. And it was designed so that parents would have some kind of a sweet and sour candy for their kids, but less mess. I, for one, am very happy that they designed these because they are my favorite. I will be eating these. They have cherry, grape, lemon, lime, and orange. Mine are the favorites are actually the grape. So with that, I will say thank you again for stopping by. It was a pleasure doing this. I will be saving this for anybody if they want to come back and look at it again later. I will have measurements on candystampers.com, my new website. I will have all the measurements for this card and I have some other cards posted there too using this um, Bonanza Buddy stamp set and framelits. Thank you again for stopping. Have a great day. We will catch up with you next Wednesday to get the 411 at 4.11 p.m. Eastern Time with Candy. Thank you.